one way to attract your ideal audience is to hand the megaphone to your current customers. Our sales connections expert, Sherry Pash, is here to talk about the power of client testimonials. Hi, Sherry. Hey, Julie. Let's talk about that megaphone. Yes. Okay. So I'm handing the megaphone to you, Sherry. Why do testimonials work so well? You know, think about before we do anything nowadays, before we download an app, before we purchase almost anything, go on vacation, buy a car, we read reviews. So are you making it easy for your customers, your clients, your potential customers, especially when you're in a business to business sales um, experience more than a business to consumer? Are you letting them read reviews of why they should make an appointment with you? Why should they talk with you? So that's what I want to talk a little bit about if that's, you know, could cover that today a little bit. Why? Why? Yes, because, you know, and we can say the same thing that our clients can, but it sounds better coming from our clients than it does coming from us about ourselves. So, but here's, here's one big potential obstacle that I hear a lot. How do I ask for that review? How do I ask for that testimonial? And Julie, it's easier than we know. So what we do, we all are getting, I know you all out there are getting emails and voicemails and conversations from customers and clients giving you kudos on, on some work you've done with them. Someone's emailed you a thank you. Hey, awesome work we did together. You want to take that feedback you're already receiving, retype it into an email to take their words, but put it into a testimonial format and then ask them, would they be comfortable if I was to share this feedback you gave me and help other businesses experience the same success you have or help you grow your business by using your name as I promote this um, testimonial. So there's a lot of ways that we can ask for that based on what they're already telling us. And we're just taking and putting it into a format because everybody wants to give you a review. But if you ask them to do it, your client has the best intention, right, to give you that testimonial. But do they sit down in their busy day and actually take time to write it? Such a good point. The easier we can make it, the better. Okay, Sherry. So once we have the testimonials, what do we do with them? Okay, that's the big part, right? Right. We, we collect them, but now use them in your strategy. Testimonials should be a part of your sales strategy. There should be a strategy written out on how you gather them, what you do with them. Now, we all know there's video testimonials, there are reviews, there's written ones. I want to talk just a minute on the written because it's super easy to use. Make a, a Word document or wherever you store information and create different topics. And you want to take a testimonial that looks kind of like that DNA or the makeup of a business you're trying to do business with or that person. And you want to pull that and put it right in that email when you're trying to schedule an appointment. Because if you're trying to get an appointment with this person, that testimonial may get you that appointment far more than anything you've put into your email. Keep your stuff short and sweet and put in that testimonial so they see what someone else is experiencing. Use it in your social media. Use it on your website, of course, um, but make sure to get those reviews out where people can see those. So that's one really easy way. Well, and not to toot your own horn, but I can. Um, <laughs> if you want to see an example of good testimonials and being, you know, testimonials being used, go to sherrypash.com because on each of your services that you list out, Sherry, you have different testimonials that are specific to those, you know, that service that we're reading about, which is, you know, a really great example of that. Um, Sherry, I've also heard you say at one point that the best way to get a testimonial is to give a testimonial. So talk to us a little bit about how we could maybe initiate that strategy. What would that entail? That would be where if you have a customer or client that you've had a great experience with, and especially if there's somebody who also is doing uh, growth for their business, it's offering to do that. Give that compliment and offer to do that testimonial review for them. And quite often, they will just naturally give you a review in return as well. So I think that that's a, a, a definitely a strategy that can be used as well. And the, the best one is just any feedback you get, use. And then be kind with your feedback as well. Get your, re get, review people on LinkedIn, right? Um, I think in our last session, we talked about LinkedIn and you can do recommendations and reviews right through that tool and it makes it so easy to do. So definitely look at that as well. And I think it's really important too that um, you use those testimonials that talk about the, the area of your business you want to grow. So make sure you're gathering testimonials for this maybe a market segment or on a product line or a service you want to grow and use those testimonials to grow that. 
Such a great point, Sherry. Oftentimes we focus on just the testimonials we have, but if we're looking to grow a certain area of our business, then perhaps that's what you're saying we should be looking at then. That's right. Be strategic in the testimonials you want, the reviews you want. If you're looking to grow a certain uh, industry, have testimonials and reviews from people in that industry. So we want to, again, that's why I say testimonials and reviews should be a part of your sales plan and a part of your strategic plan on how you're going to do that. Sherry, one last question for you, because in our last segment, we were talking about how to attract your ideal audience. And one of one of the guys in that segment mentioned that um, if you are trying to attract everyone, then you are really accomplishing nothing. You're not attracting anyone. So how can a testimonial kind of to that point, how can a testimonial help us with that? I think it's knowing, again, who your ideal client and your ideal audience is, and that's where that testimonial is talking to them. You know, again, that knowledge we talked about in a previous session as well. Once we know what's important to those customers and clients, we know the testimonial that we need, and we know the words, the language that is going to mean something to them. You want to be watching, again, their their social media, so you know the words that they use. Do they use partnerships? Do they use um, growth? What are the, the words they use? And make sure your testimonial have those words in them so it resonates with them. Oh, what a great point, Sherry. Insightful as always. Thank you for sharing this information. Thank you, Julie. I love talking about testimonials and reviews. It's one of the best strategies we can put into play today. Absolutely. And in fact, Sherry was recently featured in a podcast all about testimonials. We're going to link to that on our website for you so you can listen along. Just head to wlaj.com slash expert connections and click the link for sales connections.